My fondest memory is just uh, the relationship that I had with, uh, with my uh, fellow classmates. I was not a good student. Um, I doubt my teachers would have predicted that I was going to become anything. I'm a Carver Body graduate, and to come back to, to Baldwin High School to be a teacher uh, was a, a great experience for me. I think I enjoyed Bowen High School from the first day on until I graduated. I enjoyed the people, I had great teachers, and uh, I loved the sports there. I, I loved everything about it. The schools had integrated while I was off at college. I really wanted to be immersed in the integrated schools. You know, I grew up not knowing any black people because Milledgeville was divided right down the center. Our teachers was preparing us for life and gave us hope that things would get better. Growing up in a small town, I learned people. I learned how to get along well. I learned how to talk to people, be around different diverse groups. Growing up in Baldwin County made me a good GBI agent. So my interest in sports really started there at Baldwin High School, and then my interest in journalism started right there at Baldwin High School. We had the games on, uh, on Friday night, and then uh, uh, on Sunday I'd have to uh, sit down and write a game story. <laughs> they taught me how to respect the direction, discipline, just working with people. And all my life I have been raised to just treat people right. They just taught us just to respect, and just be good student. And by being a good student, they have helped me become who I am today. We had a great year. Um, I played basketball, and um, they, my senior year was second in the state. Now boys went on ahead to win the state championship. My four years of high school at the high school was just, just fast and just really, really competitive. Um, and I just enjoyed every, every moment of it. Playing three sports, was you know time consuming, but um, enjoyed it nonetheless. Having those extracurricular activities was really rewarding. And having the memories with the teammates that I had, building those relationships. Smokeville was my recreation department football coach. He said, when your name came across my desk, he said, is that the same Victor Young that I coach in football? I'm planning on hiring him. So I tell young people that every day, what you do today can affect your future. So I share with kids all the time, don't despise small beginnings. You don't know what your bus driver does every day once that person leaves that bus. I, I truly believe that had started my walk to where I am now. We were such a tight-knit group. Um, you know, we had a great coaching staff, you know, with, with Coach Anderson Bentley and God rest his soul, Terry Moore, who was also my cousin. We were just um, a great group. You know, we grew up from middle school playing together and then we all came into high school and we had a lot of success. When you're from a small town in Milledgeville, you know you have to dream big, you have to see more, you have to want for yourself. My own writing and teaching writing to my students merged and became one thing so that I would write with my students. I'm still very close with my football team and that's been since 1964, the last time we played together. And you could kind of think back to when I was playing, and I sound like my coaches in high school telling my student athletes in college the same thing. I mean, the high school has grown. You have early college, you have technical school, we have the CTAE building. I was not big enough or fast enough or good enough to play football in college, but I did continue my journalism career, and that uh, catapulted me into my professional career. I've been able to be an influence in hundreds of young people's lives and we were able to send over 400 kids off to colleges all over this country. Mr. Chandler was one of those principals that was dedicated to seeing all of us finish school. And my teachers prepared me for life and the success that I've had over my professional career. <laughs>